Why does sodium metal react with water to make hydrogen gas but sodium chloride simply dissolves? This can be explained by studying the relationship between chemistry and energy called thermochemistry. All forms of matter are associated with energy which can be measured as heat or work. The two main types of energy are potential and kinetic energy. Potential energy describes the positional forces acting on the object. A rock at the top of a hill has more potential energy than a rock at the bottom because the rock at the top is further from the earth's center of mass. Kinetic energy is the energy of moving object. If a rock is pushed off the hill, it loses potential energy. But it gains kinetic energy as it moves. This also applies to the atoms or molecules that make up an object. An object at rest still has kinetic energy because its component atoms can vibrate. This form of kinetic energy is called thermal energy. An object has higher kinetic energy and consequently higher thermal energy when the atoms can move vigorously. This object is perceived as hot. Molecules also have potential energy called chemical energy which is associated with the relative position of electrons and nuclei. During a reaction, chemical energy is converted into other form of energy such as light or energy is released such as in the form of heat. The amount of energy transformed depends on the molecular structure of the reactants. In a gas lamp, acetylene burns into carbon dioxide and water, releasing a large amount of energy as light. On the other hand, on the other hand adding sodium hydroxide to hydrochloric acid releases a small amount of energy as heat. To study energy changes, it helps to divide the universe into a system which contains the process being observed and the surrounding which is everything else. The system can be open meaning the both energy and mass can be exchanged between the system and surrounding. The system can be closed where only energy is exchanged. Or the system can be isolated where neither mass nor energy is exchanged. First Law of Thermodynamics when gasoline fuels a car engine, the energy produced is released as heat or work. In a car's combustion engine, the fuel and air mixture contains chemical energy which is type of potential energy. This potential energy is then transformed into kinetic energy through a combustion reaction that generates heat. The heat coming from the reaction is then converted to work by expanding hot gases pushing on the piston which then turns the crankshaft ultimately bringing the car into motion. All these energy interconversions must follow the first law of thermodynamics. Energy is always conserved and cannot be created or destroyed. To study energy changes in a system all sources of energy must be considered, including potential and kinetic energy. The total energy within a system at any given time is called the internal energy, which has the symbol capital U, or sometimes symbolized as capital E. A system's internal energy can change the internal energy of a car with a full tank. Its initial state is different from the total energy while the car is running and is again different when the tank is empty, its final state. Whether all of the fuel is used to drive 300 or 50 miles is irrelevant when the tank is empty. The car reaches a new internal state. Thus internal energy is described as a state of function 
which is not affected by how the system came to be in its current state. Therefore, the changes in a system's internal energy delta U is measured as the difference between the values of its final and initial states. Because energy is conserved, the change in a system's internal energy must be accompanied by the equal and opposite change in the energy of the surroundings. In a chemical system, the change in the internal energy is described by the difference of the reactant's initial state and the product's final state. It is used to understand the energy flow of the system. Internal energy The change in relationship between the internal energy of the reactants and products is represented by delta U is used to determine whether the system gain or loss energy during the reaction. If delta U is greater than zero, the final internal energy was higher than the initial internal energy and the system gained energy during the reaction. If delta U is less than zero, the final internal energy is lower than the initial internal energy, meaning the system lost energy. According to first law of thermodynamics, any change in system's energy must be balanced by an equal and opposite change in its surroundings. Thus the change in system internal energy is equal to the change transferred as heat symbolized by Q plus the energy transferred as work symbolized by W during the process. In chemistry, the signs for heat and work depends on whether system gains or loses energy. Consider the transformation of carbon dioxide to elemental carbon and oxygen. The reactant has lower internal energy than the product, meaning delta U is positive. Energy is transferred from the surroundings to the system, increasing its internal energy. Alternatively, during the reaction between sulfur and oxygen to make sulfur dioxide, energy is transferred to the surroundings. Here, products have a lower internal energy than the reactants, and delta U is negative. Hence, delta U only depends on the initial and final internal energy states of the system and the magnitude of the heat and work exchange with the surrounding quantifying heat internal energy is the relationship of heat and work but how is heat measured every substance possesses thermal energy when a system experiences a temperature difference with its surroundings Thermal energy flows from matter of higher temperature to the matter of lower temperature. This thermal energy transfer is also called heat transfer and is measured in joules. Temperature on the other hand describe a property of thermal energy and is measured in Celsius or Kelvin. Thus the temperature is a substance independent unlike heat, which depends on the numbers and type of the molecules in a system. Heat can be measured by a technique called calorimetry, which uses a relationship between the heat and a change in the temperature of a system. When a piece of iron at 114 degrees Celsius is placed in a room temperature water, heat flow from the iron to the water until they are the same temperature. Once there is no net flow of heat, they are in the thermal equilibrium.
in an isolated system the water gains exactly as much heat as the iron loses but the final temperature is the only 1 degree above the water starting temperature while the iron has cooled by 93 degree celsius the amount of heat transferred is proportional to the temperature temperature change delta t the proportionality constant c or the heat capacity is the amount of heat needed to increase a system's temperature by 1 kelvin or by 1 degree celsius heat capacity depends on the type of the substance a system with a large heat capacity like water need to absorb more heat to raise its temperature than a system with a small heat capacity such as iron heat capacity also depends on the mass of substances heat capacity cs or molar heat capacity cm describe the amount of heat absorbed to increase the temperature of 1 gram or 1 mole of substance by 1 degree celsius thus the unit is given either joules per gram degree celsius or as joules per mole degree celsius thus if specific heat capacities and temperature changes of a system are known the values for heat can be calculated from their product quantifying work the internal energy as the sum of heat and work heat is measured using calorimeter but how is work quantified work is the result of a force which an object experiences such as by being pulled pushed or lifted over a distance thus work equals force times distance if a golf club hits a ball 100 feet then it has work done energy is transferred from the club to the ball in this case ball is a system on which work is performed by the surroundings in a chemical reaction work can be associated with multiple physical or chemical change in a system a commonly encountered type of work is pressure volume work